All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode. Um, today I have for you NECA's 1989 Batman Utility Belt Replica Set. Um, this set comes with a battering, comes with a spear gun, and a bunch of cool little gadgets that attach to the belt. Um, with that as well, the belt actually opens and closes. Um, so this is a really cool prop toy type scenario here. Um, but right off the bat, I really the box is really cool. Um, NECA did a really good job on the artwork, and uh, you know, again, it's always sad to have to put these away. But uh, anyways, I'm excited. Let's dip into this and uh, see what we're working with. All right. So the first thing I want to do was get the battering out. Um, this is a nice little piece. Um, very light, made of plastic. Um, it does fold in all the proper ways. Nice little spring loaded there. I'm not sure, maybe that's a magnet that's make doing that, but um, strong little snap together. You know, grab it and do the whole whipping thing. But, um, you know, got your silver blade tips here. Um, nicely detailed. Got your hinges on this side, hinges right there. Nice piece though. And it also comes with this here. This is it's this is kind of like a stand. So basically what you do is you plop it on there and then you can display it. it has Batman embossed here. And this is just a hollow piece of like plastic. Um, like vacuum form type material um but anyways it's a cool little piece something to go with the set display as well so your choice okay next up we have the spear gun that it comes with um again it comes in this uh nice little plastic case here it says batman embossed here um now this piece here this is really lightweight um Man, this is nothing like um, the one I did a review on, which if you want to check it out, um, go ahead and click that link there. This is actually a little bit smaller than my real one. There's no movement to it. This does come up, come apart. It's hollow plastic. Tips of dips, nice gold there. This actually stays in. This does not come out. Um, yeah, it's just a basic hollow plastic spear gun but you know again it's it's nice to go with the set all right pretty cool all right and here it is the belt um, my first impressions are I really like the color of the belt it's a lot better than I thought it was gonna be um, very nice nice little shine to it Hard plastic though. Let me move this. Hmm. Man, there is no flexibility. This is really, really hard. I'm used to having urethane ones, like softer. And then back here, this is where you extend it. Whoops. Well, that's not good. Okay, let me dive into this a little bit. I'll be right back. Okay, so um, I just went over this belt and I have some pros and I definitely have some cons to this, um, but we'll go over that in a little while. Um, right now, let's just go over what this comes with. So this right here is gonna be the torch, which is really nicely detailed. And this right here is a scanner. Again, nice detail on it. And this one right here is a taser. These are pretty sharp. <laughs> Definitely be careful with these. And then these right here are the gas pellets and uh, these little balls here actually come out. So, I'll just connect right in there. They all kind of move. And this one right here is your micro camera. All 
And then this one right here is a breather. So if you go like underwater, you know. Nice little touch. And these are your smoke bombs. Um, we, he did use these in the movie. This is in the beginning when he's at Axis Chemical and he throws it on the ground and gets all the smoke. Now the cool thing about these are you can open them and you can actually put blue liquid in it because the real prop had blue liquids in them. So, something, you know, if you're interested in doing that. And then this right here is your communicator. This is what he uh, talked to the Batmobile in the movie with. Nice little touch. Okay, so here is the belt. Very nice paint job on here. I actually really like the yellow. I like how it is glossy. A little gloss touch to it. Um, that is just like in the film. And then they also have these little compartments here. They come out. You can see just a bunch of gadgets that are in the belt. And these actually just clip on, snap on. And for this one here, it's like a little, you know, a little computer. But I love this part here. It just shows all the uh, the mechanics of the belt and, you know, just really cool. And that just plops on here. Okay. Now, um, this belt also does this. So, you know, guys like me with wider waist, you get out there pretty, pretty good. I think it gets up to like a size 50. I'm a 36, so I'm, I'm, I have a big waist, but it definitely fits me. Okay, and then also this. So your little props you have here, fold these guys up, and they actually just magnetize on there. Magnet's not that strong, it wants to slide. But you know, there you go. Okay, there it is. So you wanna use this side here. And that, that's strong. Now that's on there. That is not going anywhere. And also the same for your spear gun. This basically comes off. And there it is. That magnet's there. I don't know if this, there it is. And that magnet's like that. Very cool. You can basically add everything on there. So there you have it. Okay, and then the part that I think we all like, the opening up, very nice. And the good old famous sound, boom. That's strong, that is on there good. So, and then this is where all your little little gadgets go in here. They, some of these don't really stay in. Like this one here is very loose. I mean, you tilt it, it comes right out. So, this one's in there good. You know, they, these ones, yeah, they're just, they don't stay very good. See, see how that one comes, but anyways. All right, so um, my final thoughts on this are for $135, what you get is a awesome set. Um, you're gonna get enjoyment out of this, um, whether you cosplay or you just wanna display it. Um, you know, the functionality of it, it's, it's all there. Um, it, it's an incredible set. Um, unfortunately though, I, I will say this much. Um, I have, I'm a size 36 and I feel that this belt is made for smaller people. But I take that back. It's made for all, it's made for anybody, you know, who can, fit in it. However, you know, the bigger, bigger people, it's not going to be as comfortable and it is extremely hard to get this to snap, snap in. Um, for instance, like if you see here, it's easy. All, it goes like this and all you got to do is push. Okay. Everything stays intact. Now let me go ahead and let me extend this to my waist size and I'll show you the problems that I'm having with this. Okay guys, so this is my waist size. This is what fits me here, 11 notches, okay? Look at how much this is bowing in the back. 
okay? Now watch this. Just everything, okay? So when it connects now, look how much downward it goes. In order for that to go, I have to really stretch this and watch. Everything just starts falling off. Boom, one down. I, it, 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 it's just, it, it's just not, the, the, the engineering of this just did it. It's not for wide people. This, it is with this makes it, but look at that. And this is not soft, this is not rubber, this is hard plastic. And I, I feel like every time I connect this, like I have to bend it, I think it's gonna break. I mean, you can't, if you have to do this, you gotta keep doing this, you know, it, eventually it's gonna break. And, you know, I, I just, it, it's unfortunate, but, um, you know, it's something that I'm not gonna be able to wear. I'm just gonna probably have to do a display on this. Um, you know, but then all these pieces, then you start going, everything starts, see? Everything just starts flying off this thing. And I don't know, I just, it's unfortunate. It's not made for someone like me to do, you know, if I cosplay or any of that, it's just not gonna do it for me. Um, but you know, it doesn't take away from this set. It's a beautiful set. Like I said, I'm gonna just display this. I'm not gonna wear this. It's not even comfortable to be honest with you. I'm, I'm used to urethane stuff. The urethane belts that, that are made for cosplay are soft and they're comfortable. This just isn't. I mean, this back part here, I can feel it. It pokes on my back. So, you know, it's it's just one of those things. I mean, it, it, it smaller people though, once you get these all in, like you start doing this, I'll show you. Get that in. Look how perfect that comes together now. Now it's like perfectly, you know? All you gotta do is that. Look, nothing is bowing out. It's just perfect, you know? So this belt's functionality is better with, with a smaller waist without it being extended. And um, you know, that's just the way it goes. But other than that, it's a beautiful set. I, I For 135 bucks, you get the 89 Batman experience and you can do what you want with it, you know? Um, but uh, let, let me go ahead, let me, I'm gonna pair this up next to one of my urethane ones and, and we'll, uh, we'll see what the difference is. All right, so um, these are the two belts. Um, this one here, this is my real one. This is the one that I use on my life-size um, Batman statue. And uh, this is the NECA one here. Um, these parts here are definitely fatter than these. Uh, the buckle on this is a lot thicker than this. Um, and this is all urethane. So this is super soft. And it's all the way around, so it's very a lot of lot of flexibility. You can, and it's super soft. So, um, you know that's that's going to be the difference. Um, this one also does open. That's there, so you can kind of see the two ways. This one goes super easy. Boom. This one here, obviously, you got to put a little little elbow grease into it, but. Um, you know, two different colors. This is more of a, a mustard yellow. Uh, this is more of a gold, goldish yellow. So, but anyways, um, that's that's it for this. Um, you know, head over to NECA if you want to get one. They're, they're still available. And uh, I, I think, um, again, for the price point, this is, this is worth it. Um, again, if, if you're an 89 Batman fan, and, you know, I, I think the belt was one of the coolest things in that movie that stood out. And... You know, if they made this when I was a kid, I would have wore this everywhere. This would have gone to school with me, events with me. I never, I would have slept with it. It just, it never would have came off. So, um, it's cool that we got one now. Um, but yeah, for 135 bucks, you get the uh, 89 Batman experience. And uh, I wouldn't hesitate on this. Definitely go and grab one. So, anyways, guys, uh, until next time, we'll see ya. Bye.